Um, what I hope happens is that um, around October and November, when we get to the actual anniversary, we can, we can um, pat ourselves on the back for the success that's come from the power sector especially, and indeed from some other sectors like waste, but, ne but then turn, turn our attention domestically to a whole new set of sectors and apply the lessons that we've learned over those first 10 years. It's really impressive if you look at it, what's been achieved with UK policy making, especially in the power sector. And it is a kind of testament, and the success of governments have done it as well, isn't it? You know, it's a really impressive thing that, that has been achieved where there has been a kind of singular focus on achieving something. I am an optimist, so I believe we could do that in further sectors. Um, the, one I, the one I have in my sights absolutely is the transport sector. So if we could bring the same kind of level of strategic focus and ambition to the transport sector, to the agriculture sector, um, and to buildings, then I think we could, you know, we can be more optimistic. I think about next year, at least in our progress report, about where we're headed with all this. So domestically, I hope that that point later in the year, when we consider the tenth anniversary, um, it is a point to to reframe domestic policy, and then internationally, I think it is also a point to look again at the act. So, and I w I'm looking forward to being part of that. Claire Perry's made it very clear that she will ask us to look at the implications of the Paris Agreement on on the UK target um, framework. So let's, 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 let's look at that properly and let's, let's just check in with the act still being as um, valid and as important as I think it will need to be over the next 10 years.